Hello my lovelies. Today I thought I would just bring you a relaxing and quiet video about how I made this shift. This shift is going to be part of my costume for the Foundations Revealed competition this year. So I took a minute to design what the whole costume is going to look like before I began. However, it did go through a few different iterations before it was complete, but these are my initial designs. The character that I'm inspired by for this year's literary theme is La Belle Dame Sans Merci from the John Keats poem. My image of her is that she's sort of a timeless creature of the woods. So even though she's based off medieval lore and an early 19th century poem, I'm using an 18th century aesthetic with some little medieval touches. There are plenty of tutorials out there that will teach you how to make a shift, so that's not exactly what this is, but it's a pretty simple design, so a front and back rectangle piece that will have gores attached to the side, and sleeves and a neckline. It's a very simple garment that we see throughout most of human history, it's pretty new that we don't wear these anymore, and I wish we could go back, they're wonderfully comfortable. So here I'm just marking out where I need the sleeve hole to end and where my waist is so that I know where to begin my side course.
once I have the shoulder seam sewn, I can mark off where I want my neckline. I'm also going to bring in that shoulder seam so that the sleeves will fit better. And as you can see there on the sides, that's where our gores will go in to allow room for the hips and to just make the fabric drape much more beautifully. The sleeves for this project are simple rectangles with gores at the armpit to fit them in and give them movement since they don't have a curved shoulder like a lot of modern sleeves do. So for the sleeves, I machine sewed them except for the tips of the gores. I made sure to hand sew all of those just so it would give a nicer, cleaner finish and so I could just add that personal touch. While sewing the sleeves, a linen thread got caught down in my bobbin uh, area, and so I had to pull the whole thing out, take it apart, and I accidentally got some of the machine grease on one of my sleeves. So a brief detour, I had to remake it, unfortunately. Good thing I have more linen. fitting my sleeves in by trimming back some of that side seam just so they can fit in super deeply to give me a nice range of motion. There's no pleating on these sleeves so they have to fit into the side of the garment completely. And then I just needed to finish up the hem. 
All of the major side seams and the hem were done by machine, whereas the neckline, the sleeves, and the gore tips were all finished by hand. So this is a good hybrid project for me to get used to my new sewing machine, but still make those lovely hand details as you can see here. This is me just whip stitching a rolled hem around the neckline. And once those hand details are done, the whole shift is finished. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's something that would go under all your other clothes, but the gorse you give this quite lovely drapey shape. So it highlights around my natural waist. It gives plenty of room for movement in the arms, thanks to the gorse. And it's quite comfortable. Linen is a wonderful fabric for sort of wicking away any sweat and odor. As you can see, there's a slight asymmetry to my neckline, but I'll live with it. I'm intending this garment to go under my Foundations Reveal costume, as well as other historical projects. Here, I'm just showing it under my everyday stays. There's a video for that on this channel as well, where I made a sort of hobbity vest based on an 18th century stays pattern. I'll be making proper stays that you can see in my next video that will be paired with this shift for my costume. But this is also just the sort of thing I like to wear around the house, especially when I'm working from home on these long winter lockdown days. So pairing it with some tights and socks, a sweater, it's nice and cozy and comfortable. And it's cat approved. She likes to interrupt me when I'm framing up my shots. So thank you for sticking with me for this video. It's my first video of 2021 and I'm really excited. I have a couple bigger projects that I'm going to post on this channel this year. A few of them are still in the works. Some of them have a good deal of planning behind them. If you enjoyed this and would like to see what I get up to next, please subscribe. Throw me a like if you like the ASMR style. Bye.